with that, let it's my pleasure to introduce author, speaker, researcher, journalist, minister, and I believe probably the biggest treasure for the city of Florence and Lauderdale County that there is, Bill McDonald. Thank you, Nancy. That was a long, great introduction. You don't get that kind of introduction at many places. I'm going to talk about a story. That's the story I wanted to tell in the first place. The name of my story is Just Before the Blooming of the Dogwood. And ain't that a pleasant thought on a day like this? We're here today because the weather is pretty, it's a little windy. But when you look at the dogwood trees, they're just about ready to blossom out. And soon, in a week or two, there's going to be dogwoods all over this town. Just drive through Hickory Hills, and you'll see dogwoods. And I live out there, and I lived there long before they built Hickory Hills. And all those dogwoods that you see are natural dogwoods. They came up in those woods. My old friend, my old friend White Paul told me one time that he had found 47 species of dogwoods right here in this Tennessee Valley. Now they're small wood. They're not good for anything. You don't build anything out of, out of dogwood. You can't use them for anything but just stand back and admire their beauty. But this beautiful, this beautiful, you, you might call it a ballad. It can be sung to the tune of an old hymn that came out of a Civil War. Just before the battle, Mother, I was thinking most of you, well, it, it was sung here, but not in that tune. It was in 1864, sometime in, in March, at just about the time of the blooming of the dogwood, when three soldiers came down into the North Park, Lauderdale County, hoping that they could see their mothers. They hadn't been able to see them in more than a year. They were in old. Lee, what is his name? He was such a, a fighter, and he wasn't a trained fighter. But he was very much attracted to Nathan Bedford Forrest and copied Forrest just about in every way he could. And Forrest did not always follow the rules of military discipline. He was a great hero, but sometimes he broke the book. He turned the book sideways, upside down. And his lieutenant and his colonel had the same but more noted ability to turn things around on the field of battle. But anyhow, three of his men asked for permission to go home to see their mothers. Their mothers lived up beyond Mid Middle Cypress Creek, north of Florence. You will see just upstream a little bit well, you see a beautiful, beautiful flowing creek, but upstream you'll find a, what they call a cave hole, cave hole. And that's where a father of one of these men, Lorenzo Dow, operated his gristmill. 